Can you explain what an incel is? So an incel is just like someone who is involuntarily celibate. That loser sitting on Reddit for 23 hours a, a day um, with Cheetah Dust and <sighs> empty Mountain Dew cans incense. all around them. And it just has a real stank smell that is involved with these people. Perfect. Because I'm just gonna page you an image, and like the fedora is a little yeah. crusty, and the the beard, the, the neck beard is strong, but the facial hair is weak, and there's a bald spot in the back, and you could just and you can just see the fedora just hanging on for dear life, and he's sitting there mutter, muttering under his breath about how like Jessica Alba's uh, ugly. Right. You know, Literally. like yeah. that's what you're talking about. <laughs> Bro, this is what zero self-awareness looks like. Listen, I'm not a fan of inflation, but we need to make podcast equipment more expensive. The audacity of her to speak in that tone just amazed me. Damn, sis, that belly sticks out about as far as them titties do. Yeah, they do. No, stop. <laughs> I want to know my body count. I don't know why in like 2018, that's any of your f business or why it matters, but 24. 11 athletes. <laughs> Woo! Five entertainers. Woo! Eight regular guys. Woo! In my experience, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> she belongs to the street. But you one crazy ass bitch. You wish that was you, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed I don't even have pants on. Oh my gosh. You don't? I have like boxer shorts, but I forgot. You talking about my boxers I left over there? No, it's somebody else's. Yeah, you're done. I'm kidding. You know what's even weirder? People give a fuck about their birthday. Shut your mouth. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's my birthday. If I guess I get it if it's girls for some reason. That doesn't annoy me. When dudes get really excited about their birthday, come on, bro. Yeah. I'm not your mom. You don't deserve a good man. You don't deserve one. Wow. You know, that, that was that was that was messed up. I don't here's the thing. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. Can I finish my point? And can you get out your feelings for two seconds? A woman doesn't deserve any man. She's got to earn that man. Not just you, any woman. That's the reality. You think you have leverage because you're young. You're supposed to be a wife before a man chooses to marry you. A woman doesn't choose her husband. A man chooses his wife. That's what you don't understand. I invite you on this journey. You choose to accept it, but I chose you first. Mm -hmm. You think that you choose your husband. You don't. You say I'll be masculine. With I choose her. I'll it be if feminine. I'm in a relationship. You'll if say, your I'll girlfriend be didn't choose to be with you, you she say, wouldn't I'll have be, the possibility. I chose her. What are you talking about? Stupid. But what if she didn't want to be with you? She wouldn't have. She wouldn't have attracted right, me. Right, but she is now because she did want to. No, but, that's <laughs> but if she didn't it, want to, it, she it, wouldn't it, have talked to you in the it, first place. I, her talk to me. Listen, men choose you. A man chooses you. A man goes and allows you access into a relationship, not the other side. Yeah. The only thing that you allow access to is you can attain a man, Dang. but it's up to you to retain him. I couldn't agree more with him. A man chooses who he pursues. Then women decide who she allows to pursue her. That's why, as he said, women control sex and men control how serious that relationship is going to be. Baby, baby, these, this literally feels like our dog Saucy. Like, <laughs> oh my God, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> How long have you guys been together? 10 years, more than 10 years. How did you bag her? How did I bag her? <laughs> I got her a bag. <laughs> what kind of bag? Chanel! Chanel. <laughs> this is my natural game. What did you do? I can't talk about that on the radio. Bro. <laughs> do you allow your partner to have guy friends? Not as of a couple days ago. Shut your ass <laughs> up! Oh, no, yes, he does. And do you allow your man to have girlfriends? Yeah, as long as they're fat and ugly. <laughs> are you guys married? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay, okay. How much did you drop on the engagement ring? Fat! Fat! Three times his salary. <laughs> a lot. What would you say if your man asked for a threesome? She'd be down. Let's go. Question for all the men. What the fuck?
do you want? 140 pounds of local grass-fed beef, 70 pounds of which is ground, and then 70 pounds of various steaks and roasts. And they even threw in a nice, juicy, big beef heart. My man told me to start recording while I was waiting for him. Okay. I'm recording because you sent me to the car don't, after I watched you. I, don't after... be mad. So I bought myself a watch. Yeah. Do you like it? It's green. It matches the car. What the fuck? But then I bought you this. How much? <gasps> I bought you that. So don't be mad. You can't what? be mad. I get this and you can have that. I was about to say. Do you like it? You can have that. Now shut up. You need to think and act like women. The reason why women fight tooth and fucking nail to maintain their Instagram, even if they're married, got a ring and kids, is because it significantly impacts their ability to find the best mate. Because women do not, do not approach, okay? It's wrong for a man to judge a woman based on body count. Yes. The reality is, and I'll just make it f***ing short and sweet and we'll move on. Women don't like it when they're excluded. So if a woman's a hoe, a woman has a high body count, etc., she doesn't want to be excluded from that. So what do they do? They demonize men for having their standards. Any standards at all, doesn't matter. Guess what? We say a woman's overweight, fat shaming. Can't do that. You say a woman used to be a hoe, <gasps> how dare you? You can't judge her on her past, even though they're okay judging us on our future. The reality is, is that men and women are attracted to different things. Attraction is not symmetrical. We like someone that's unexperienced. We like someone that we can mold, that'll listen, that we can lead. You all say you want a leader but you're not okay when a man says you want a woman that's more agreeable a woman that's able to shut the f up when we say that whoa the point is is that the things that men are naturally attracted to are constantly demonized on this show by women but it's okay for you to have your standards you say you want a six foot tall man cool your man doesn't even exist on this planet but that's what do we fine. say cool the reality is I is that see. we have standards too and most of them are going to exclude you if you're being a hoe you're on the streets all right. it is what it is hi <laughs> wow i'm so proud of you i got you something Can I ride you? I mean, ride, ride with you? Ride on, ride. Can I sit on your face? Right. The man who cannot carry a child or be sufficient as a woman should not have an opinion on that. You thought you ate. Now watch this. If that's the case, if a woman decides to have the baby, why is a man then obligated to take care of it? Oh! It was her decision. If she can decide if it live or dies, I can decide if I want to take care of it or not, right? Okay then. All right then. All right then. Now, for the record, I do not think that any father should decide not to take care of their child the same way I don't feel like any mother should decide to abort their child. I believe that two grown people laid down and knew what would happen. They were educated and they knew what the result of sex would be. York. Jimmy. Jimmy has been a magician since he was six. Well, because I was bullied in elementary school. One time I just saw this lady doing. That was so mean. He just told me such a deep thing. <laughs> I just snapped it so hard. See, this is why you don't get vulnerable with women, especially strangers that you just met, because they don't care about your struggles. And why would they? This is the first time that they're meeting you and you're gonna start talking about your struggles and act vulnerable around them. That's on you, bro. You shouldn't have done that in the first place. But to be fair, you dodged the bullet.